the Porsche GT2 RS has gone up against the clock at the Nürburgring lapping the 12.9-mile circuit in 64,875 min according to Edo Performance. The time was uploaded to Facebook by Edo Karabigovic, lead man of the aforementioned Porsche aftermarket developers. Of course without corroboration from Porsche this time is only hearsay, but it sounds feasible in the context of Nordschleff times attributed to equivalent performance cars. Lamborghini's Huracan Performante cut through the Eiffel Forest in 652, four seconds behind the Radical SR8 LM on par with the GT2 RS with Pagani's Extreme Zonda R only a further second quicker. We expect confirmation of the official time tomorrow 27 September. The supposed time would place the fearsome portion esteemed and mid-bendingly fast company. Mind you, the Extreme 911 has the figures to back the time. Its blown 3.8 liters starts out in Porsche Turbo S specification, before Andreas Preuninger and his small band of engineers find an extra 120 bhp from the flat 6. Gains are courtesy of uprated turbos and associated ancillaries that have already propelled Mark Weber to 208 miles per hour down the ring's back straight. Click here for a rundown on the Porsche GT2 RS this time would bestow the RS with internal bragging rights too. The Porsche GT3 991.2 Traverse the North Loop in 712, some way short of the GT2 RS, a given in light of the 155 pounds feet torque deficit suffered by the naturally aspirated GT3. Perhaps, even more startling is the comprehensive margin by which the GT2 RS undercut the Porsche 918 Spider, the technological tour de force slithered round the Nürburgring in 658, some 10 secs lower. The 200 kg weight advantage boasted by the GT2 RS over the 875 bhp 918 Spider, and its extrovert aerodynamics go some way to nullifying its relative power shortage. Benchmarking the new RS against its predecessor 997.2 GT2 RS on the timing sheets demonstrates the significant performance leap made by the 991 GT2 RS. The 997.2 managed a time of 718. So far we've only experienced the new Porsche GT2 RS from the passenger seat, but, we'll be driving it in November 2017.